The Magic School Bus, Wet All Over, a book about the water cycle. We're always doing something interesting and fun in Miss Frizzle's class. The other day we were learning about water. All of us were doing projects. Wanda and Arnold made a model waterworks. Now just add water, said Wanda. Wanda took Arnold into the girls' bathroom to get water. Hurry, Wanda, said Arnold. This is embarrassing. What if somebody catches me in here? Wanda laughed. Who's going to catch us? Tiffany? Arnold turned red. At last, the bucket was full. Okay, Arnold, you can take out the plug and turn off the water now, said Wanda. She picked up the heavy bucket and headed back to the classroom. Arnold started to turn off the water. Just then, he heard someone come in. It was Tiffany. Tiffany ran. Arnold chased after her. He had to explain, but he'd forgotten to turn off the faucet. The water kept dripping. Arnold didn't get very far. Tim came into the hallway. It's time for your report, he said. Arnold shook his head. So far, he was having a terrible day. In the classroom, Wanda was trying out their waterworks model. We pour in the water, said Wanda. It runs through the cleaning tanks and out of the pipe at the other end. Perfect. When Carlos opened the mop closet, a big wave of water came out, and out of the water stepped our teacher, Miss Frizzle. Did I mention that Miss Frizzle is, well, a little different? Good morning, class, she said. Are you ready to learn about water? I'd rather hit the surf ride at Waterland, said Wanda. Miss Frizzle got that funny look she sometimes gets. Of course, she exclaimed. To learn about water, we really need to get into it. Time for a field trip. The frizz led us outside to the old school bus. Dorothy Ann stopped to check her rain gauge. Now, it really rained a lot, she said. Nearly two inches this morning, said Tim. Dorothy Ann wrote the information in her notebook. That's a school record. All aboard, called the frizz from the bus. Here we go, said the frizz. All of a sudden, there was a loud gurgling noise. Arnold's eyes widened. I have a feeling this isn't the way to Waterland, he said. Who said we were going to Waterland, said Miss Frizzle. Why visit the water when we could actually be water? Hold on. Suddenly, the whole bus rose into the air. We felt cool and heavy. We were turning into water. With a big plop, we dripped right into Dorothy Ann's rain gauge. Welcome to the real waterland, said Miss Frizzle. Wanda floated happily inside the rain gauge. This is great, she exclaimed. It's nice and warm in here with the sun shining down. Can we stay all day? I don't think so, said Ralphie, who was starting to float up into the air. I think we're going up. Miss Frizzle nodded as she floated up too. When water is warmed by the sun, it evaporates or turns into a gas called water vapor, she explained. Soon, we all had turned into water vapor and were rising up into the sky. This is too weird, said Arnold. I wish I could be water again. You are water, Arnold, said Dorothy Ann. Right, but right now, you are water vapor, which is a gas, not a liquid. It was getting cold way up there in the air. Brr, said Wanda. Hey, look, I'm turning back into droplets. Miss Frizzle smiled. This field trip was going according to her plan. Arnold is getting his wish. We're changing back into a liquid. We're condensing, said the frizz. It felt tickly to be a cloud, especially when the wind started to blow. It blew us across some water and over a forest. Then we formed one big cloud. Where are we? asked Arnold. 
on our way down, I believe, answered Miss Frizzle. And, sure enough, we were starting to drip. Our cloud was raining. We dropped onto leaves and slid down to the ground. Then we found each other again and started downhill. Go with the flow, class, said Miss Frizzle happily. What a ride! We ran downhill to a river which got bigger and bigger. Suddenly, with a big whoosh, we went over a waterfall. Where is all this water going in such a hurry? asked Phoebe when she came to the surface again. Water always flows to the lowest spot, answered the frizz, and there it is, the ocean. We made it all the way to the ocean. Good, said Arnold, now we can rest. Sorry, Arnold, said Miss Frizzle, this is no time to rest. Don't you feel the sun warming us? What happens next? We evaporate, said Arnold uncertainly as we all rose into the air. Correct, called the frizz, and when we reach cold air, she asked, we condense, said Phoebe happily. I love this part. We turn into clouds and the wind blows us somewhere. Again, moaned Arnold. This is not the last time either, Arnold, said Miss Frizzle. You mean water keeps evaporating, condensing, and raining forever, gasped Arnold. Bingo, said the frizz. That's why it's called the water cycle. It happens over and over again. In fact, I think we're about to rain again right now. We rained right into our own school. Whew, back at last, said Arnold. Then he looked through the window where he and Wanda had landed. Oh my gosh, it's the girls' bathroom, and I left the plug in and the water dripping. Liz has it under control, said Wanda, or is her tail stuck in the faucet? Liz nodded frantically as she tried to pull her tail out. We've got to help Liz, Wanda said, but how can we get into the bathroom? Arnold thought hard. I have an idea, he said. We're water. We can get through the bathroom pipes. But to get to the pipes, we have to start at the waterworks, the real waterworks. Follow me. Arnold found a sunny spot right away. He evaporated. What could we do? We all followed Arnold. It wasn't far to the waterworks, and fortunately, the wind was blowing in the right direction. Here we are, announced Arnold. We're right over the reservoir. Wanda was excited. Hey, this is where the water is stored and where the waterworks begin. Squeeze together, class, said Miss Frizzle. Prepare to rain. We felt ourselves being sucked into a big pipe with a lot of dirt and gunk from the reservoir. I can't believe we drink this stuff, said Carlos. It gets, I mean, we get cleaned first, said Arnold. Here come the strainers. We passed through what looked like a wire fence, leaving a lot of the gunk behind. Then we floated through some white puffy stuff. It's a loom, explained Arnold. It sponges up dirt, now on to the settling basin. The loom and dirt fell to the bottom of the settling basin. A lot cleaner, we floated on. Last stop, filtration tank, announced Arnold as we flowed through some scratchy gravel. Now we just have to find the right pipe to take us back to school. This way, Arnold said, and we all followed. The pipes were big at first, but they got smaller and smaller as we went along underneath the town. How much farther to the school and the girls' bathroom, asked Wanda. This must be it, Arnold said. Hey, it's Liz's tail, said Wanda. She pushed it. She pushed harder. We all pushed. It didn't budge. Liz's tail really was stuck. Well, I hate to do this, but it has to be done, said Wanda, and she bit Liz's tail hard. Now that the faucet was open, we all flooded into the bathroom sink, over the edge, and onto the floor. Oh no, groaned Arnold, here comes Tiffany again, don't let her see me. But all Tiffany saw was a flood in progress. Holy cow, she yelled, and she ran to turn off the faucet. By that time, we had all flowed out the open door, down the hall, and out into the schoolyard. 
Perfect, said the frizz. Now there's enough room for us and the bus to return to normal size. All aboard, please, class. We all flowed into the bus. With a turn of Miss Frizzle's key and a big swishing sound, we grew to normal size. <laughs> Tiffany, called Arnold, running to help her up from a puddle of water. Are you all right? I think so, she answered. Thank you, Arnold. Arnold's face turned pink, but he was grinning from ear to ear. Well, class, what did you think of the water cycle? asked Miss Frizzle as we followed her into school. Wanda smiled. As usual, Miss Frizzle, she said, your field trip really made a splash.